Will I get a shot? Oh, look at him. Look, I'm just sitting there. Good morning, YouTube. This is Censored with Bird Crew Studios, playing one of my favorite tanks, as I like to refer to it as Yagzilla. Awesome tank, awesome gun, one hell of a boomstick on it. So let's see uh, what transpires on this. I really wish, I know it's a huge tank, but I wish it had a little bit more speed to it, because getting this thing into position can be a bit of a problem, uh, depending on what ma map you're on. Um, here, we're trying to take a shortcut around to the backside. I'm going to call this um, playing cat and mouse with a Yagzilla um, because, as you'll see later on, I've never, I've never spotted in this match. Stay tuned for more. So let's see how we can do this. Where are we going to post up at? I like playing this map. I like playing this map. To me, it's a fun map. I don't really notice if you see the, um, the grill over there. I'm not sure why he's setting out in the open like that unless he thinks he's using this, these bushes for cover. So, let's see. Do I get a shot on that object 268? So, as you can see, I'm sitting back here behind these little, little bitty trees. E100. E4. Oh, that was your ass. 948 damage off that E4. And I'm pretty sure he's like, what in the hell just hit me? Who got the damn number of that truck? So we're going to reload. Let's see what we can do again. Will he be stupid enough to stick his ass back out there again? No, so they're getting the Yagzilla into position. Trying to fight fire with fire, I would assume. Oh, there's that E4 again. Oh, 1072. Night, night, Mr. E4. And I cannot believe that that Yagzilla, their Yagzilla is positioning himself almost in the same exact spot that that damn E4 is in. And he just eats 815 to the face. Wish it would have been mine, but... Up in the north, seems like they got everything squared away. Are we going to get a shot on this Yagzilla? We're down two tanks to their, uh, to their four, so... See, we're down four tanks to their two. Wish it was the other way around. Artie's lobbing him over. Come on. And I know this is probably the most exciting match, but I was actually impressed when I did this. Is it two? Oh, look at that 110. Oh, ammo rack for 1,800. Oh, call your mama. Because you're coming home in a box. I know that's bad. I'm sorry. Now, you're probably going to start seeing that E110, or excuse me, that T10 start complaining here in a bit. So watch the chat, as we can see. So that's two kills for me. Decent amount of damage. Hit the E100 and bounced. Not happy about that. Still shooting only standard AP. Not, uh, not trying to load ACP, or excuse me, heat on this one. Heat's hit or miss with these tanks, especially on the E100. I know a lot of people who play E100s, and all they use is heat. I try not to, but what we got? This Conqueror over here. Looks like our north is being pushed through a little bit. I'm trying to let them know to pay attention if they're paying attention to the mini map. Ooh, their bat chat just ate it. Now our bat chat's on the M46 Patton. The TVP T50 is coming up uh, to assist. And the 46 just ate our bat chat. How's he going to fare with that TVP? Trying to get another shot on the C100, but he will not poke out far enough. There's their Yag. There's the 110. That's another 110. And there he goes. Will I get a shot? Oh, look at him. Look, I'm just sitting there. 1,005. God, I love that. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me another shot. Give me another shot. There's that 110 again. Am I going to get a second shot on him? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at there. Yes, yes. Damn it. So close, but yet so far. Looks like we buttoned up the north for the most part. Artie's working. But right now, it's getting a little boring sitting over here. And I know a lot of Yagzale players, they play these tanks fairly aggressive. Depends on, how, depends on my mood, whether I just play hide-and-seek or whether I, uh, I actually get out there and, uh, and go face-to-face -face with some stuff. But today, we're playing hide-and-seek. Oh, 967 on that E100. That's got to leave a mark. Damn, didn't get a second shot on him. Come on. Do I get a shot on this E100? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. How does the JPE 100 stay unspotted? I don't get it. <laughs> My, everybody's going, what JPE? Everybody's saying it's magic. It's called camo, bitches. It's got good camo. If you know how to play against with, you know, using your uh, literally 170 millimeter firing would move the earth. Yep. <laughs> that TVP is just bragging up to death. Oh. I love this tank. I love making him scream. I D100 realized that uh, where I was. Never spotted me, but he realized where I was, so. All good. So they've got the 263 out there, two Ortis, and that 103. About this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of setting back here. I think we need to kind of move in. And I'm letting them know, yep, haven't been spotted yet. A lot of chatter, a lot of chatter. There goes their 103. Yep, now it's time to move. And frankly, I think I sat back here way too long. But the thing that irritates me is that T-57 is sitting right there. I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, how many, what is it, T-57? Major Nick Fury. Okay. So this is long. We're going to speed it up a little bit because this is a little bit of a drive. We're going to set up here and see if we can get shots on anything. So, guys, um, I'm going to wrap this up. The 263 is going to eat it here in a minute. So, of course, we won this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell us what you want to see. We're going to be doing more World of Tanks. Let me know what tanks you want to see. We're going to be doing offering up, sending us your replays as well. So, again, this is Censored signing off. Everybody have a good one. Take care now. Bye-bye.